Weiter auch HW57 with Iron Sights. Base State Red Wolf Heritage Huben K1 at the Shooting Range. Steyr Pro X. Servus, thanks for dropping in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Servus, thanks for dropping in. Welcome to today's let's call it shoot and chill. Where I'm just going to shoot the Weidauch HW57 via iron sights. I'm gonna talk about the gun. I already did so in my review, which you may have seen already. I really enjoyed this gun. Easy, compact, handy and very precise. So I just grabbed it again to show you what this little gun can do with iron sights. I will give you some handling tips. I'm gonna tell you some general stuff. Yeah, like I said today, HW57 via iron sights and I'll use uh, King Yang domed Diabolos uh, 4.50 millimeters and 0.55 gram. You can also get them with 4.49 and with 0.62 you get streamlined, pointed, flat heads and so on. Just check diabolo.de slash yen. They are from China and extremely high quality and for a while only the Chinese national team was allowed to shoot them. Uh, they came to Germany two to three years ago. They got great reviews internationally and quite a few shooters use them competitively uh, for yeah, 32 foot and uh, other distances. So yeah, um, always worth a try. Okay, uh, let's start and take a few shots. I'm trying not to talk too much so we get a respectable result. Uh, I showed in the review that the gun is precise. Today it's just some shooting for fun. So who is this gun made for? I talked about it in the review. By now I uh, recommended it to quite a few viewers and uh, Yabolo customers. Um, for me it's a fantastic beginner's gun. Especially if you're not sure yet if shooting is the right hobby for you or which way it's going to develop. Uh, you maybe don't want to invest too much money and that's where this gun is king. It is not cheap, yeah, um, but uh, still one of the affordable guns and you get an amazing value for money here. If you care for it, I guarantee you it's going to survive you. So yeah, if you don't want to put too much money in this board yet, you can get this one and shoot it via iron sights first. Uh, I'll take another shot. Yeah, you can you can earn your first achievements like this. Um, you can just find out how it works out for you. Uh, no need to buy a scope right away. A lot of people buy their stuff step by step and then go for a higher quality equipment instead of something cheaper they will want to get rid of again. Better wait a little longer, take your time to put some money aside and then you get something that gives you lifelong shooting fun. Thirty-two foot uh, distance, which is challenging uh, with iron sights, but in in the end, a question of training. I said it in the review. This one has something of a western gun, a, a western rifle. Um, maybe the underlever uh, and its its uh, compact form make it feel like a cowboy gun really different and refreshing. Also with this loading whoop <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's loading mechanism um, you probably saw it already. You are pulling down this little lever here and then uh, the whole under lever and the loading chamber is pushed out. I had customers saying that Diabolos fell out. That of course depends on the type of uh, Diablo you are using and if the size of the head fits the gun. 
the King Young stay in, that's neat. Um, but what I do is uh, pushing my thumbnail against the Diabolo here. Uh, uh, yeah, I bring back the lever and then push down the chamber. You can't hurt your finger here, you, you just keep the Diabolo in place. It won't happen with the Queen Young 4.50, but if you maybe have uh, some smaller JSB or HNN or something, you can do it like that. Now concentration again. So they go the same way here. Um, of course, other targets are also fun. Uh, bins, small boxes, let's say small re reactive targets that fly away um, are super fun with iron sights because on a target like uh, this, I see, yeah, I, I hit somewhere around, but not exactly where I hit. So reactive targets that fall over uh, silhouettes, uh, buckshots, uh, something are more fun with iron sights. Otherwise, you just take your 20 shots at a card and then check what you hit. I often talk about weapon care. It is super important. The uh, HW57 or HW50 or most the uh, Weidauch guns have a beautiful bronzing up here. If you touch it, you always leave fingerprints, even if it's not that hot. Um, there's always sweat and it uh, affects the bronzing. Uh, if you then put the gun away for a month or two, it may happen that you see some rust bloom on it. So it's best to take like an, an old cotton shirt um, and clean the bronzing. You can also use a cleaning rug like the FAW, just search it uh, at Diablo and you'll find it. And if you put the gun away for the winter, for example, you put some corrosion protection on it to prevent rust bloom. That would be super sad because, um, yeah, this gun will survive you if you treat it right. No matter how old you are. <laughs> That's the Weidauch quality you get with every Weidauch brake barrel or spring piston rifle. I own an HW35 from 1950, so it's 40 years older than me. Um, no, 30 years older. I'm not uh, that old, uh, young. <laughs> so 30 years older than me, a 70 year old gun works perfectly fine and still looks fantastic. The previous owner really took good care of it. Also care for the stock. Uh, rub it down after using it to remove sweat and uh, two to three times a year um, put some gun stock finish on the stock so it won't get uh, uh, dry and, and gray out. Yeah. Hmm. I can't really say something about the shots. You see better than I uh, what I hit until now. Fact is, it's mostly around the black circle. I I don't think it's bad. <laughs> of course, there are tuning kits available. After we have fallen for this hobby and love your HW57, um, you can buy uh, air show tuning kits at Diabolo. They don't raise the power. Always stay legal. Please, 7.5 joule without special permit. There are stronger kits, but you need a WBK, a gun owner card in Germany. Stay with 7.5 joule and it will then just run smoother. The recoil is reduced a bit. Um, but you see now it, it's really good to handle. We're, we're talking about optimizations on the, on the highest level there. Um, they are crazy good right out of the box. Weirauch has an amazing quality control, so yeah. No scrap who leave their halls or other production. Yeah. You see, um, even here at the table in the small camera view, handling is super easy. I haven't dropped a single pallet even while aiming up uh, for the camera when loading. 
I could also aim down while loading. In this position, nothing will fall out either way, so go for it. If you want to know more about shooting spring pistons, like uh, how can I get uh, good results with a spring piston, how, how can I optimize my technique, I have a German video called Prellschlag Kontrollieren, which you can find on YouTube and ergandi.de, where I am explaining um, how you can shoot your spring piston and how to optimize. Yeah, just a few tips that should help you get better. Yeah, uh, this little gun is a dream come true. Lightweight, also for smaller shooters or younger people uh, that want to shoot with their parents or uh, if, if, if you want to get your sons and daughters to shoot with you. I got a wonderful message today. Somebody wrote that my videos are the reason why him and his sons have found their way back to airgun shooting. Uh, they are buying an HW30 together around Christmas, a scope for it, and they shoot together on the attic. No shit, this is where I say I've done everything right and I feel good because I'm inspiring people um, to follow this hobby together with their families. For me, that's the, yeah, that's the best praise I can get. If uh, you also are happy with me, my work, my shop or anything around it, you can do me a huge favor and Google Yabolo and uh, leave a Google rating. If you would take these two to three minutes, this would help us as a young company. Yeah, just, just Google Yabolo. Well, I think I could go on for another hour. From here, it looks like everything apart from the second or third shot looks quite good. Everybody who is still thinking or who has a lot of guns already, but has the same mindset as I do, you need to have at least one iron sights gun. No matter if you have 2000 Euro PCP rivals, it doesn't matter. You have to have one iron sights gun. You can be the best competitive shooter, German master, doesn't matter. It is just um, a great change. And uh, yeah, in, in the end, probably all of us started like this. I remember the time my first gun was a CZ Slavia 630, standing in my garden, not knowing it's forbidden. Careful, never shoot where the pellet can leave your own ground. Um, Many years ago, I didn't know, uh, learned a lot since then. And yeah, I stood in my garden with the Slavia, bought a uh, 14 times 14 target box and had a ton of fun shooting it with iron sights all the time. Before I fell for the hobby completely and it um, developed the way it did. Now the hole in the middle gets quite big. In case you are asking yourself how to set up your iron sights, um, here I can uh, barely see the black circle while aiming. So uh, the bright dot in the middle is already too small over this distance. I do it like this. Um, of course, I line up the front and rear side and then I place the circle on top of this line. So for me, it is set up to aiming one to 1.5 centimeter under the center. It's easier on the eye. Uh, and if you know that you're under the target like this, you can, you can always react and compensate for it while shooting at other targets. But yeah, for me, it's best for the, for the eyes and my concentration. Yeah, works great for me. I talked about cleaning it before, about barrel cleaning. Um, search for 507 at Diabolo. 
and you will find the barrel cleaning strings I use for my barrels. I don't like these cleaning plugs. Uh, shooting it through with 490 foot per second won't grab as much dirt as the string pulled through the bar barrel. Uh, it's more effective. And if all this is going too fast, too much, too confusing, I can only offer you uh, sending an email to airgandhi at yabolo.de. I still manage to answer 100% of my mails. I sometimes miss a YouTube comment, but I'm trying really hard. Um, don't get angry with me if it takes a little longer. It act actually has become work, but that's uh, how it should be. I love what I'm doing. Yeah, I think we can take uh, a look at the target. It's not too bad. One is far left, which bugs me, but uh, every long time viewer knows there is always one of these that strays from the rest. <laughs> yeah, today's shoot and chill. You hear my creaky voice. I just got through a cold, but still I was happy to sit in front of the cam again today and make this video for you. I hope I could give you some relevant information about the HW57. You, um, you see how, how light it is and how easy I can handle it. Um, feel free to send uh, questions and I hope you will tune in again next week. There will be at least one new video. Thanks a lot. Take care. Ciao, servus, Herr Gandhi.